Gong, the only town closest to the capital city that is known for wheel energy production. Many people think that it is the biggest, but the fact is it is the fourth biggest, with a production of only 25.5 megawatts. But there is a fun fact. Gong Hills Weed Station is the oldest in Kenya and it was commissioned in 1993. Gong Town neighbors Kiserian Town on one side and Karen on the other side. Gong is one of the cleanest towns in Kenya and it is known for its cold breezes from Gong Hills. The locality's real estate is very vibrant and it gives value for money for anything below 50 million. For current wannabes who have a wealth which is less than 100 million Kenya shillings, this is the closest you can be to the mega rich. And from the beauty that you have seen from above, now join me on the ground as I showcase everything that is in this estate, how beautiful it is and all the details that you would want to see. Join me. As you can see from there, we have a three car parking that has been very well done. The house comes with a front yard that extends to the other side of the unit. Each unit has been surrounded by a perimeter wall, but we also have an electric fence. Each of the units in this estate has been constructed on a 50 by 100 lot of land, which is a nave, and each unit has a print area of 200 square meters. Let me take you inside. Before we get inside, I want to mention one thing. I like how the developer has concentrated on security of this estate. Each home comes with a metal casement door, but next to it, you have a hardwood door. Let's get inside. From the entrance, I like the size of the living room. I like it that it comes with big windows for maximum natural light, and the developer made sure that the windows are tinted just to improve on your privacy. Each living room comes with a small chimney that uses traditional wood, but this can be easily modified to become a modern fireplace. I like it that the developer used the traditional ways of doing the ceiling, and because I know most of you would not prefer a traditional ancient ceiling, this one has been done very well. The living room opens to the dining area on my far front, and this hallway takes you to the guest bedroom and the upper level. As I said, the dining area has been separated from the living room and it makes it very distinguishable from any other room on this level. The dining area comes with these two big windows. The ceilings are very high and I like the center light. The dining area also comes with a wash basin at this far end. Before we get to the kitchen, I like this separation that separates the dining area from the kitchen. One good trick that the developer did is that he created this cabinet that can be opened from both sides for easy access. As much as the kitchen is not the biggest, do you think that this home is value for money? Already you have seen like almost half of it but I think the developer is giving very good value, especially here in Gong, where we have very clean environment. Before we continue, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also follow us on TikTok and Instagram. This kitchen comes with a double sink, and as you can see, it has been done very well, and it comes with this platform for you to dry your utensils. I like it that the kitchen window is massive, and this section has been reserved for your cooktop. Each of these homes comes with a hob or a heat extractor, but it has not been installed. And by the time you are coming to buy this unit, it will be here. Another thing that we regularly mention is the cabinetry of the kitchen. And this home is not an exception. As you can see from there, the cabinetry is more than you need, and this is where you'll do your refrigerator. Let's see the pantry. The pantry is not the biggest. For 14.5 million, we have seen bigger pantries. Let's see the laundry area. This is the laundry area and it comes with this section that has been set aside for your washer and dryer. You also have a double socket for all the activities. The employee quarters is just next to the laundry area. It is not the biggest, though it comes with a floor to ceiling closet. And on this other side, you have the employee bathroom. 
very well done. Before I take you to the upper level, we will see the clothing area and the kitchen garden. And the kitchen garden is very well done. In this channel, we have showcased so many homes that have been constructed on a piece of land that is less than 50 by 100. But what we think is that 50 by 100 is the ideal size of land. Cause you can get a space like this where you'll do your spinach, your kales or corn. And who would hate to live in such an environment? Look at the greenery, is it not beautiful? This land extends to the far end of the unit and this is where your clothing area will be created. I'll take you back inside. From the kitchen garden through the kitchen, you have this hallway that takes you to the common washroom and the guest bedroom. Just come with me. The common washroom is here and it comes with a wash basin and also you have a water closet on this other side. The common washroom can also be used as a bathroom. That's why you have a shower head. The guest bedroom is on the lower level. This is the tiniest room in this mansion when you exclude the employee quarters, but it is the guest bedroom. The guests will only be here for maybe one or two days. This is a sufficient space. I like it that it comes with two windows and a massive closet. The guest bedroom does not come in suit, it shares the common washroom. I know that is not very noble for your guests, but if they want to feel comfortable, they should buy their own houses. I'll take you upstairs. On this level, we have the other three bedrooms, but there is one thing that is very distinct and you must note it. This home comes with laminated wooden floors, and as you can see, the staircase is also hardwood. On my left hand side, you have the first bedroom. On my right hand side, you have the primary bedroom, and on my far front, you have the second bedroom. Let's start with the first one, and one thing that you'll have to note is the quality and the sizes of these bedrooms. The first bedroom is more than standard in size. It comes with a massive closet on my right hand side, and on the opposite side, you have two windows. One thing that I don't like about this bedroom is the madness circles that have been printed on the walls. If you don't like something like this, you'll have to talk to them and they will do a new painting just before you buy the unit. This door will take you to the resting area or the balcony to this bedroom. And here we have the bathroom of this bedroom. As you can see, it is the longest. It comes with a wash basin, a WC and a towel holder. As we proceed with the tour, this unit continues to prove to us that 14.5 million is a worth purchase. On my far left, you can see that the developer is doing another set of units, but those ones will be flat roofed. If you do not like pitched houses like this one, you will be forced to take the flat roofed ones that are being constructed. This space is way bigger than a balcony and other homeowners are using this space as a place to do their barbecue or a place to rest with the family when they are enjoying an evening sunset. I'll take you back inside. The second bedroom is slightly smaller than the first one. The idea is that this bedroom is targeting the small kids who are doing CBC. The bedroom comes with a standard window and on the opposite side you have its closet. The closet comes with spaces for the hangable clothes, three drawers down there and a section for the foldable clothes. The opposite section is just similar to this one. The bathroom to this bedroom is here and it comes standard and big enough for all your small kids. I'm very sure you are noting the standard features and those few people who keep telling me Mungai Kihara, gonga kunanga maji. 
water is available. This other side has been deserved for the shower cubicles. I don't know if small kids require shower cubicles, but it is there anyway. I'll take you to the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is on my far front, and as you can see, the door is already open to welcome all of you inside. The primary bedroom is the biggest and it comes with three big windows for maximum natural light. Actually, you do not need to have your lights on any time of the day when you purchase this unit. On my left hand side, you have the primary closet and as you can see, it had been pre-prepared by camera person. Thank you very much. The closet comes with these spaces for the hangable clothes, an extra space down there. At the center, we have a dresser, add a set of drawers, and on the opposite side, you have a space that resembles this one. On the far end, you have some spaces for your shoes. Let me show you the primary bathroom. Wow! The primary bathroom is the biggest. It is bigger than some of your bed seaters and it comes with a WC, a wash basin on my far end and this is the shower cubicle. These units come with a provision of a shower cubicle or a bathtub or you can also have both. The primary bedroom comes with its own balcony. The balcony faces the front side of the unit and as I said earlier, we are in Gong Hills. If you are here, you would agree with me that the breeze is calm and immense. I'll take you back inside. We have come to the end of the tour and I hope you have enjoyed. I know most of you will comment and ask me, Mungai Kihara, is this unit something you would recommend? Absolutely. The unit has been done very well and it is value for money comparing to the market prices that we are getting in Gong right now. Before we leave, I want to tell you something. We have analyzed the stats of this channel and we have come to understand that more than 50% of you have not subscribed. Why? It is just free. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on TikTok. Bye bye. And our contacts are in the first comments.